Hi, my name is Becky, aka Dasha Girl Bex. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming along. Um, so you probably already have seen me wearing this outfit. This is the same day uh, in a previous video. I don't know when the last video would have been, but I just wanted to come here to just in case something happens um, so that I can say here is where it started and sort of go on the journey. So basically, I've always wanted to be an author. It's been my dream job since I was a kid. I went through lots of different dream jobs as a kid, um, including but not limited to being someone's housewife, being a race car driver, being a doctor, um, you know, classic kid stuff. I went through all the phases. The race car driver one was mad because I didn't like, I just used to be like, yeah, I'll just drive a race car. I didn't even like race cars. I just wanted to drive one. Um, regardless um my main passion i say passion i was 10 was to be an author and this stemmed from my love of reading as a kid i used to read all the time i still try and read now and then but i just don't have the mental capacity to have time to do that like i'll sit there and scroll tiktok for three hours and for some reason my brain thinks I'm doing something but if I read for three hours my brain's like you need to be productive why is that happening but with this and this is like a whole situation so for my love of writing itself obviously from reading you think oh I wonder if that's something that I could do when we were in school we had this thing called big write I don't know if any other British schools had it our school did and it was basically where every Friday for an hour we would have to do the big write which is where you just write for an hour you get a topic you have to write and everyone in my class hated it as far as I remember but I didn't I literally the light they would like dim the lights put on candles and that would be like our big write session I would sit there and I would write and write and write and write and then it would get to the end and I would have to like bring myself out of whatever I was doing because I was so engrossed in it like people just wouldn't hear from me for an hour obviously we had to be quiet anyway but if there had even been an opportunity to talk no one would have heard me because I was so engrossed in writing what I wanted to write and that continued into my later years when I was at secondary school I used to want to write all the time I took English Lit and Land for A levels because I thought that it was going to be like writing obviously it wasn't didn't do well um the one project we had where we had to write uh the opening chapter to a novella and then write about it like do the annotations and stuff one of my teachers hated her everyone hated her but like she really had a vendetta against me she pulled me out of our other teachers class one day with the teacher and she was like Becky your work normally is awful and I was like thanks miss um and she was like you never like at the moment obviously you're getting quite low grades blah 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 you know standard teachers shit and then she said this novella chapter is really good and I was like well thank you and she was like no it's really good and I was like yeah thank you and she was like no we think you've plagiarized it and I was like excuse you I was like what the fuck did you just say to me and our other teacher she was really lovely and she was like okay we don't think you've plagiarized it and she was like well she was like I don't think you plagiarised it. Miss does. And I was like, well, did you find anything? And I, they were like, what? And I was like, well, I assume if you think I've plagiarised, you've already had a look online, um, like typed it all in, you know, seen if there's anything that comes up in, in the big wide world web or whatever to see if I plagiarised. Have you done that? And they were like, and she was like, yeah, I've looked and I can't find anything. So where has this come from? And I was like, that there came from my widow brain, you know, no, right in this noggin. And first of all, never ever let her say anything to me ever again. That was my 
time of like turning around. I used to take her shit all the time. From then on, did not. Um, but the other teacher, I'd say, she was like, "It's really good. Like, I'm really like, you should be proud of this." And I was like, "I am. Why do you think I took English? I wanted to write. I want to be a writer. Like, this is what I wanted to do." And obviously, that didn't continue. But whatever. Um, however, over the years, I have written stuff on my own. So at home, I'll be writing away all the time. I've got notebooks and notebooks full of stuff. I've got Word documents to the brim of my laptop. It's just a whole thing. There's this one story called La Vida Loca, which I wrote about five or six years ago when I was like 17, 18. This was a year or two after I'd had my first kiss, way before I lost my virginity. So it's a romance novel where it's like, and then we did it. <laughs> Just saying that out loud sounds so stupid. But it's a really, like, the concept of the book itself is really good. It's about these girls who go on holiday um, and they end up being part of, like, this thing. You know, like, an 18 to 30s holiday where, like, you go with loads of people. It's like that, but they get put into groups of 10 and there's, like, five boys and five girls and... They go out and they're doing this and they're doing that and oh my god it's great fun they go to spain they go to france they go to germany they just have a great time and i i say i wrote it and recently i've been thinking about what i want to do in the future i'm about to leave obviously i don't know when this is going to go up but as it is at the moment it's the 13th of march i'm about to leave my old job in a couple of weeks my current job um, as a call centre agent to go and work for a different company or be outside, you know. But neither of those jobs are something that I want to do in the future. Like, I'm happy to do them now. I'm, obviously, I'm leaving one, thank God. Um, the one I'm about to go into, I'm excited to start. But again, I don't foresee it being my forever job. What I would really, really love is if my forever job was writing so I thought well I'm never gonna know if I don't try so I found I say found I went back to that story I edited it so that it wasn't like a 17 year old who had never had a relationship had written it and I just made some updates to it and everything so I edited it and I sent it to a publisher and a couple of days ago I actually got a reply to say that it's going to be looked at by their board of editors um, which can take up to six weeks so obviously this is going to be part of a video way in advance um, not in advance, way in the future um, because if I hear anything from it then obviously I'm going to put this up and be like oh my god guess what's happening in my life and if I don't, we'll try again. We'll do something else. We'll try a different one. Um, but I just thought it would be nice to make this video because obviously if it gets to that point and who knows, maybe this channel does something really drastic and goes huge and then a couple months down the line I'm like, I've got a book coming out. Everyone's going to be like, wow. YouTuber book deal, huh? And I'll be like, first of all, don't have enough thumbs for that. Second of all, no. The book part was my first passion. The YouTube part is just for fun. Um, because I don't really have anything else to do, to be honest. And I've always wanted to do it. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video so that I can have it ready in case anything happens. I really do hope something comes of it because that would be so cool and I will speak to you guys soon. Okay, so that clip you've just seen was filmed in March 2021. It is now June 2022. Um, so that was the 13th of March, I believe I say in the video. Um, and it was a couple of days after I received an email to say that 
the book that I sent them, La Vida Loca, was going to be looked at by their board of editors. And we'd see how it goes. And, you know, if something came of it, I was going to make more videos and, you know, see what happened. Um, I didn't make more videos and stuff. Uh, it was a very long process, actually, because with COVID and work and loads of other things, like, I've worked three jobs since then because um, I've left jobs and I've started new jobs and things have happened, you know, all over the place. Uh, also, I said, oh, you've probably already seen this outfit. No one ever saw that outfit on YouTube because it was... I filmed a video in it where I was going on a date and then I never uploaded it and that was the only date I had with that guy. So, <laughs> you know... Swings and roundabouts never happened. Um, a fun story of, about that teacher actually um, is that in the acknowledgements I put to the teachers who said I would never amount to anything. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for motivating me to make my dreams come true. Oh, I never showed you. So this is La Vida Loca. Uh, it is the 30th of June today, and it is the official publication day of La Vida Loca by Becky Burton, which is my book. Look, it's a book. It's like a... I can read it. That's crazy. Um, the publishing company sent me loads of stuff, so I've got like this, which is like a little leaflet thing, but it's like... You know when you were in school and you used to get stuff that you could like order? So it's got like an order form and everything on the back. Um... But it's also available online like normal things, so I'll leave all the links below in case you wanna like buy it on the publisher's um website or on Waterstone's website or on Amazon because it's available in all those places, which is really cool. Um I also have this like look, it's like the cover, but it's a postcard. It's so cute. It's got like Austin McCauley publishers on it. I think that's adorable. I actually love that so much. This is like my stuff, so I'm showing you them. And then this is a little like bookmark of it as well. And then on the back it's got the blurb. Shall I read you the blurb? Yeah, of course. Of course you want to hear the blurb. So. I once read that life was a book. It is a true statement. The next part was that if you don't travel, you stay on the first page. So while you're young, you should embrace life and travel the world. That part's the bit I have a problem with. Just because you don't travel doesn't mean you're living any less of a life. You're just rewriting your story, which is what you do when you travel too. No one's stories have set endings. That's the wonderful thing about life. We are the ones to write the story we live in. That's like in quotations because that's part of the book. And then it's... A trip abroad offers an opportunity for Isabel Torres to find herself with her two best friends, Danielle Roan and Catherine Peters, before they go off to university. The group of guys and girls they end up with are wonderful and it's a holiday filled with excitement, romance and many fun times and trips which are sure to change their life for the better. From secret trips to city breaks, the ten teens were set on finding themselves but instead managed to find friendships that are bound to last forever. What can Izzy say? They really are living La Vida Loca. Which, if you don't know, La Vida Loca means the crazy life in Spanish. Um... So yeah, this is like, this is like, it's like writing and like, I wrote it. Me, I did it. I wrote it. Like this, all of this came out of my brain once and now it's like here and anyone can read it. That's fucking ridiculous. Um, is there anything else I can read you? Oh, this is like my little author thing. So it says, Becky Burton is an aspiring author from Kent. She is, she is a positive, fun-loving girl with a passion for reading and writing. She's always on the lookout for a good time and likes to do so with her friends and family. Her own experience have often served as inspiration for events and characters in stories she writes, and in the future she would love to have more of her stories shared. Which I would. Um, and then it's got like a copyright, and it's like copyright of Becky Burton, like that's me, that's my copyright, I'm copyrighted. I'm copyrighted! Oh.
Do you want to hear my, um, like, thank yous? Because, like, the thank yous are here. I'll read the thank yous. Firstly, I would like to thank my parents for always supporting me and never throwing out any of the old books I own or any of the notebooks that have my thousands of pages of writings. If you know, you know. Those are my inspirations and my first drafts and keeping them forever is my pleasure. I would also like to thank my cousin Anna for reading my old stories and Sister Eilish for listening to us read them aloud. My stories at 14 were a lot different, but we all have to start somewhere. I want to thank my best friend Sabrina for never giving up on me in our many years of friendship, even though I never let her read any of my old stories. You always encouraged me to go ahead and do what I desired, and seeing you chase your goals made me want to. I also want to thank the first boy I loved for always encouraging me when he was in my life, and for accepting my letters each time I wrote them. I always admired your support, and although we are no longer us, you will always hold a special place in my heart. Last but definitely not least, I would like to thank everyone at Austin McCauley Publishers Limited who had a hand in helping this dream of mine come true. You are truly the backbone of this operation and I will never find the words for the thanks I wish to bestow upon you. And that's my book. Um, so it is available, i say, online. Um, so it's available paperback, uh, which is 6 99 on paperback. And... It is available on ebook apparently audiobook ebook e not audiobook ebook so like kindly but not kindle it's like on amazon but you you know uh and that is 350 so if you do fancy it go buy a copy um yeah how exciting so today was the official publishing day. Uh, I have to go to work later, which is great. Because um, I would love to just like be go and celebrate it. But it's my baby. I've got it now. I've got a few copies. Maybe if enough people want me to, I could do like a giveaway because I have a couple copies. So I could probably give away a couple copies and maybe like the, a couple book like if I give it the copies, I could feel like the bookmark and the postcard sort of thing. Um, so let me know if you fancy that. <laughs> and yeah. Thanks for listening to me rant about my dreams coming true because this is literally a dream come true for me. Um, and hopefully it won't be the first. Uh, it, won't, it won't be the last because it is the first. That's what I mean. Hopefully it won't be the first and last. Hopefully it will just be the first. And there'll be many more to come. And who knows? Maybe they'll want to make it into like a programme. Because honestly, it's a good book. <laughs> but that's biased. So, I suppose you'd have to read it for yourself and let me know. Uh, which if you do want to, either give me a little tweet on Twitter. Or message me on Instagram. And let me know what you think of it. Um, so yeah. Thanks. Love you lots. Bye.